I've been up to surprisingly little in the last few days. I'm trying to be peaceful and spend time reading and taking things in, instead of always being on the go and trying to make things. Otherwise, I'll wear myself out. That may be crashingly obvious, but I've managed to avoid noticing it myself for years. Let an apple tree be planted close beside a ditch of mud. Let its roots be parched and aching, ever waiting for the flood. So its small and bitter apples overhang the stream bed dry, cursed to live and never flourish, painful grow and painful die. Yet this tree shall be transplanted to a meadow by a stream, Clouds shall shower down their mercies, sunlight throw its kindest beam. Roots recall the feel of fullness by the river, in the rain. Branches shall be pruned and ready, hope and apples grow again. Adam says, happy birthday, Eve. Eve says, it's today, not tomorrow. Mitochondria are tiny living things, rather like bacteria. They live inside the cells of almost all animals, plants, and fungi, where their job is to process glucose in order to provide a source of power for the rest of the cell. Without their help, we wouldn't be here. What fascinates me particularly about mitochondria is that they have their own DNA, which is not at all like human DNA, much more like the DNA of bacteria. They're essentially a different creature, and because you inherit all your mitochondria only from your mother, mitochondrial DNA is very useful in tracing your ancestry. So how did we come to have these creatures living inside our cells? The most commonly accepted explanation is that two billion years ago, when complex cells were just starting out, the mitochondria discovered that the cells were a good place to live inside, with lots of glucose to feed on. It was just as useful for the cell, which needed the glucose processed. Symbiosis! The mitochondria hitched a lift, and they've been with us ever since. So, even when you think you're alone, remember, you're also a sort of walking mitochondrial city. A Birthday by Christina Rossetti My heart is like a singing bird whose nest is in a watered shoot. My heart is like an apple tree whose boughs are bent with thick-set fruit. My heart is like a rainbow shell that paddles in a halcyon sea. My heart is gladder than all these, because my love is come to me. Raise me a dais of silk and down, hang it with vair and purple dyes, carve it in doves and pomegranates and peacocks with a hundred eyes, work it in gold and silver grapes in leaves and silver fleur-de-lis, because the birthday of my life is come, my love is come to me. See you next time.